so we got turban poison on it. So I'm about to work on pacing myself here. Because that, that's a half ounce, and it's like half done. So we did a quarter already in, what, a week? I mean, it's not even a week yet. What is it, Monday? Four days? Oh, this would be a good idea. This is probably what Stephen Hawking does when no one's looking. For the radio audience users, I was puffing on the joint. And again, hi. Uh, we deserve it. What do you deserve? Sad pink slip. What do you deserve? Sad lesson. Please tell me something so I can update my brain on what you just said. And I was laughing at their, at their life, I guess. Because the way they said it was funny. Hey. Guys, I'm trying to do something here. Maybe this. Damn, my piece even running like shit. Maybe because we're transcoding now. And I'm running this main machine. So there are a few programs that are allowed extra space. And I think since I messed with that shit, this uh, is gone. Kind of haywire. Oh, wait, no. Okay, that's what it's missing me. Every time I smoke, I get this information shit. I want to move my screen real bad, but I think we will all have those pianos stuck in our heads. Alright, so the point of us being here is I have to form a description of what I'm going to name this album. That's the only thing that's missing. Well, I hit the submit button. Like super slow. <clears throat> Maybe tonight we'll have to take the stream offline so we can fix some. It's been acting real weird last few days. Here's this one. We got tired of hearing symbols. That's why we are doing what we did. That's what we're nuts. <laughs> it's been down here further. It's like three hours long and fall asleep. Listen to it. <laughs> It's because we got, it's, it's extra bassy, for those who are wondering, because we got some other shit going on. Got some plugins to make myself sound nice. Maybe yeah, I can change it. Oh, Dynamic boost. Oh, bass, right here, seems working. Yeah, shit, it's hot, right? I'll move this over so you guys can see. Yeah, bitch. Uh, the hottest in the industry, no one can bust this free. Easily is put back down, 20 on the paper, already on page full. Popping these others up, bro. No drool. Yeah, mother sucker. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the party. Uh, welcome to the party. Oh man, this shit's broken too. How did I break it? Yeah, I broke it, man. I must have a button push or something. It ain't working right, man. It's just eyeball shit. <laughs> Fuck it, you know, half of the shoe, half of the shit, yeah. The day of my screens are too big, and I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Another fantastic day here at Creative Wind Studios. You know how we do it tonight? We'll be working on some lower rips using uh, this app here, but lower on the tone scale. Maybe some um, uh, bass guitar, more of that stuff, and we record it on this app here. Later on tonight, we'll make more. We use Blocks Wave. B L O C S Wave. It's got a wonderful recording thing on it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. L G C D 438.4. That's right. You're coming and listening to some great music we'll be making on the fly here. Show you how Creative Wind Studio does it. We got album CJ 020 coming out in less than a week. Coming out in less than one week, man. We got 50 hot tracks. This one might be CJ 022. The music you're listening to right now may end up on CJ 022. Completely different style than what you're probably used to. Find all the little music. CWSQD.com. Photography, Spotify, Apple Music, Caesar, KK Box. We are around the world. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to show you how we make our money here. 300 album goal. By the time I'm dead. So that gives us a music career path. I don't need to be signed because Creative One Studios is the label. So you're talking to the guy, full-time millionaire, man. This is what I'm doing tonight. Welcome to the show. We'll be working on lower riffs, just like the title says. Instead of the high, we'll be doing the lower octave on the piano side. We'll be making new samples, new uh, sound packs for ourselves and future albums, which is then controlled through the same. We'll, we'll be doing it later tonight, where you can just drag and drop your music here onto anything up here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for attending, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be good. Hey, here real soon. But right now, we still bouncing. To yesterday's work. This is the first. This is the first. What we're listening to <laughs> is the first time we used the ripper. Maybe second. This was a decent recording. Tonight, we'll be making our second. I'm going to focus more on like bass drum or uh, bass guitar stuff like this. Yeah, it will never end. I'm so excited to come back into the studio. Life got me excited again. What you're listening to will probably drop on CJ020. I'm sorry, CJ022. That will also be 50 tracks. It's then connected to my USC mixer back here. Along with this, because this program also has samples that you could use for your projects. So I record it, and then once it's done, it'll start playing here on loop. And on the mixer, it records this one into a separate track, this one into a separate track, and then it listens to it together. So it combines those two tracks. It doesn't combine my voice into it, it combines those two tracks. So in the end, we have a new track. We have the one we made for all today that has extra stuff in it. But we also have new sample, new samples, which are right here. These are all samples I've recorded. And at any time, I could just hit that one, hit that one, and it's loaded. That's as easy. And over here, I could pick that one and these are drums so just a randomized drum from whatever kit you got installed and i should probably uninstall some kits that annoy the crap out of me so if you look i basically have everything except for a few up here and uh, there, there's quite a bit you know so so i should go through here and uninstall those so all of them <clears throat> it's a lot of money right there but i personally use it for uh, just a, a drum just to get me started so like i can also uh, lower and raise the volume and add a few adjustments so i like this program because when it records you can see it records straight to a 16 or 8 so i like the 16 because it's not so repetitive and then uh, down here you set it to 16 as well 16 16 16 and then this is a, just a random MIDI generator man generate random notes sends it through this cable to the iConnect MIDI 4 then the iConnect MIDI 4 controls the Yamaha QI100 uh, through MIDI cable it goes out of that into the mixer again so it's recording um, this because this is now the piano and it, we're recording this one and at the mixer it, it mixes these two tracks only so then when I pull it off the hard drive here through a USB connection we got two of the same drives so when one's full I just pop it out pop the other one in so that's how we're doing this today oh and then on the broadcast box I don't have it in my headphones I do not hear this uh, this is one more box added to help the broadcast sound contained like it's supposed to fix it just a bit so hopefully we got settings on and this is the recording that gets recorded on the video i have the headset version down here and i might even run a few leads to back down here to record this one that might be nice especially if i can get that one nice uh, working great so i might do that eventually right, so we're gonna sit here and get stoned more i usually work creativity real good when uh my brain can focus like hyper focus otherwise it's too aware of everything going on and nothing happens 
it's just, it's uh, just a thought, and that's about it. With uh, we we uh, can induce a chemical imbalance, get bipolar, and then get me to the actor mindset, and let all of this stuff go and focus. And like, that's how we do it. I'm doing the head high, just to let you know, FYI, that I'm beautiful. And tonight we fly. I look good like a statue. Could see every picture tonight be like a new album cover. How come you ain't up in, up in my grill, homie? How come you ain't up in my grill? Cause I thought we were smoking, weren't we not? Or were you looking at bitches? Come on, eye contact, please. Thanks. Have a seat. Be like, if you go up to that vending machine and get some popcorn, I will eat that dirty ass bag. Be like, here's ten bucks. Keep change, bro. <laughs> Man, I think I may have some haters out there. But man, I'm not talking to anyone. Uh, but maybe this is what me, me needs. It needs me, man. Because I would forget it's there, honestly. Like, you guys would be sitting there talking to yourself. But maybe I'd look at it. Who know. <clears throat> I mean, too hard now. We can't do it for so long. Uh, battery now. I'll be damn, it works. <laughs> damn, I got the butterfly. It's up new for me. Turn notifications on. This is not who I am ever. You never go anyway. But yo, I'm the one with myself, right? So, in, in that case, need to watch me. So, um, that's when we're so I'm turning off. And I might stream it. Today, y'all. Today, we were supposed to do something great. Should we name a whole day? We'll see. Maybe we got enough to make a beat. See? That's 60. Surely we can do it. If I put that together tonight, on Adobe Edition, we show you how to do it. So good, just focus my mind. I'm a genius. In it, in a yada. I'm swinging hard. I can't fall through a cloud. I put the kids call you in the background. Pimp, oh, pimp, oh, pimp, oh, pimp. I don't think I will ever like this microphone. Sounds okay, man. I miss my high price one. I think I'm gonna go buy one. Not that I can't, just I haven't yet. I think I will get one of those condensed. Ones. You know what I'm gonna do here when uh, I get done? I'm, I'm gonna go take a hot shower, naked by myself, and fully enjoy the hot water hitting me. And then I'm gonna go lay down and enjoy my two cats. Cause they love daddy. And when daddy's home, he's not walking past. When daddy is home, I'm like we can watch a TV show. We can cuddle up on his lap, so and take the gray tape. And clean us and camper us. That's all we do. We're a prison of the basement and can't go up upstairs anymore. So all I gotta do is wait for something besides my friend here chilling, you know, watching a blank TV and wait for this guy to wake up. Then I was sitting on his lap once you wake up, trying to burn all this energy off in the owner wakes up. And the owner hurts. You know, so much pain. Reaching over for the pill bottle and on a rare occasion when I don't get waking up from pain. And, uh, but lately our days have been screwed up, so my body gets exhausted for um before I get fall asleep. Not a good favor on my part. So I, I ain't a hunter, you know, I'll be honest. I ain't a hundred when I'm sleeping all day. But it just happens, you know, I, I come in here and it happens. I'm a fan of Also don't believe what we're doing it, but yep, that was the shit. We're trying to get ourselves in the mood, and uh, well you know we're, we're screwing around doing something else. Like meet me have it. Here's my point, man. What's up, Jesus? I can people get 800 views, man. I got profile view just a second ago. What's up, man? Can you see the live thing or is there a conspiracy going on? So it. You'll get that same sensation when you uh rub your finger to your nose, uh, and you smell weed. So I probably gotta go on verses, man. Probably gotta talk. So I guess we can all hear this. Um, <clears throat> I think I push the button. I won't, I won't die. Alright, so we got a verses here. So I my skills out again to turn it down a bit. So I can explain myself. I don't want to sound like I ain't ready yet. It's like, oh, well, when will you be, sir? Because I'm trying to figure out what I get here for tea. I hear like this bouncing back. But I know that's not right. There's so many recordings going on at the same time. I can't even go to explain you what's happening right here. But this thing's mainly used as like a powder. Shit. Man. Check, check, check. The volume's low. Right, what am I doing going down? Stop messing with it. Right, you gotta stop messing with it. And when I turn the volume up, <clears throat> I don't feel bad. I don't like, you know, <clears throat> bag of chip. Check, you know. That far. Now you can uh, see me in the real shout and touch. But we have like an hour and a half of mumbling about it. This is gonna be another horrible day. But at least we got that. Bang bang mother sucker, yeah. bang bang mother sucker, be refilling my bowl here, looking for a way out. It's like my life is so crappy. Like where to begin? <laughs> where to begin on how crappy my, my life? It's much more crappier than yours. Let me rest assure you. I can guarantee, homie, that mine takes the cake. And did I say that I was the prettiest one here? Did anyone hear me say such a thing yet? Okay, well now you know I'm the prettiest one here, handsome, I'm the most handsome one. It still sounds awful. Like, I, I don't know. I think my microphone's broke. Yeah, I'm living in a curve. Cause Anikyo has four buttons. And what the hell's my problem, man? Why can't I get one view? I already had two horrible mix. It really is. But I won't be doing it all night. This one is sounds good. Wayne is enough. I got 20 albums. Oh, 21. I got 21 albums. I mean, come on, Shun. Shun, I got a load of questions I'm gonna ask you. And one is, you got an album out? Call me, you got an album out? Cause I wanna hear it. If you do. So I already know how this thing works. Kinda nice, actually. Or maybe it, it's just like, it can't be that quick. I really want to do something different with my voice. But I'm tired of the same old sounding that I've been hearing and just shooting for a new sound. Because the old microphone didn't have a lot of mud. And this one I'm noticing mud in about every trying real hard. These diamonds are awesome. Hey, like shit. I got to do something else with my time besides create being a boss. So I'll be like, yo, I'm just chilling, smoking up. I hear off on. Hey, check this out. Oh, wait, I can't. Yo, man, never mind. It's a bomb. <clears throat> so anyway, I got I got a light product with, uh, with holes on the side. I have that covered like a security cam light. And that's like keeping all the oxygen out. Oh, the light at the top hole. Oh man, well, that's just wonderful. Mm. Ooh, hell yeah, man, there's a party in that bitch's mouth. A block down I saw earlier today, and I bet everyone came. You know how disgusting that would be? Be like going up and down. I'm so glad I'm married and ain't got to deal with hoes. So glad that I have my own studio. I mean, I got a bad back. You know, some surgeries and doc, like, yo, man, I can do it. My practice is the best on the block. I'm like, all right, Holmes, sign my name. It's like I signed this poster back here, and we begin. We push forward, and uh, yo, we nine years of level 10 pain drives me. Let's just become unsober. Welcome to the room, ladies and gentlemen. Soon you will you will hear everything I hear. Can you guys hear music or no? Well, I can't. Unless I got, you know, check this out. So, oh. Alright, check this out, man. This is what you could be staring at. I'm, I'm pimp, pimp shit, man. Wearing this on your shoulders, that shit's 4K, man. Alright, so what, hot bitch? Hot is gonna send me a red car so I can give you this address. What's up, though, man? Let's continue to smoke. I'm back here working with this cheap ass mic. I had a blueberry before, and uh, I sold it. I took that money and went to the casino with it. And at that time, I was not on empty present.
baby. Here it is. I just messed it up. Damn, bro. Y'all don't know who I am. You about to find out because I'm new here. I mean, I just like to sit in a room and talk to myself. But if you guys can't hear my music, you will. Patient, my child. There's nothing to fear. And that camera's smoking hot. So we've been doing this for about two years. Uh, like, business wise. I've been mostly, you know, just stay at home, buddy. Someone doesn't like to go anywhere and just mind my own business. And then, you know, I was all into music. And then, then we had this back situation. I completely changed it. So I finally got the girl that I wanted. And she's amazing. We're both crazy in our ways. She's still amazing. We've been going on two years now of marriage. So I might be a spokesman of all in relationships. Because let me explain to you how opposite her and I know are. Complete 100. So how do you get along with something that can write down to calm and correct and control your um, inner animal and your weak? I can control that. And uh, so with my back pain and journey along with the 300 album here, that has put a lot of things in effect real quick. And uh, leaving the house used to be the thing to do. Now, like, I, got older. I mean, I'm living like a king. I can't lie. This is, um, I got a license to smoke from Colorado. Doing what I love to do. And I want to do it. Basically, I got a girl that loves me. I already got 21 albums out there. <clears throat> a lot of them bother me. And so this new album, 22, I could be editing it here. I did want an album with symbols. And symbols lately have really, uh, I've got sensitivity to it. So maybe that's why everything sounds great because I got high pitch ringing, especially like when I go lay down and, and, and like sleep or something or just watching TV or I got it. I got the same iPad set up here, um, you know, like on my bed. So oh, and I also got like one of those adjustable beds. So like I really can't complain, even though I got you know, a shit ton of pain to deal with every day and, and it just wears on you completely. I'm still able to do what I like to do. So I'm here and meet me doing something new, trying to get out of my shell. It wasn't like people have hurt me and why I, you know, became such a businessman focused. Uh, it's like when your leg been blown off, you know, and then your whole reality has been changed. You, you got shipped out to war, your leg got blown off and then come back and everything's different, including the people towards you. And you're just not the same guy mentally and even physically. And you feel alienated because like right after you came back from the war and getting patched up, people saw you in, in who you are now. And then you went off to go move like six, eight hours when it comes to other people. I turned distant when my first wife cut her face and said I did it. And then she went in for electroshock therapy and like forgot who the F I was. Like, you know, there was two things there that went on that would change someone. Just like information. Watch YouTube for two and a half years and it becomes nice. That's just what you do now. And is this who we are? Just a guy who is smart ass shit. Got really nothing in our uh, suite. I wanted to become a poet, writer, write books, but I threw that out the window. I was just like punching, uh, punch my car out of anger. And since then, I went through anger management class. So I'm like counselor level now. You know, I'm a master at so many things. I'm a master at computers. I'm a master at whatever I'm doing here. And I know it won't last long. It's like, you know, this conversation won't last long because I wasn't ever doing the same thing I was two years ago. So at least in my career, my 300 album career, 50 tracks a piece, that keeps me busy. But what I find out is the royalties will come to my family 70 years past my death. So that's like buying something that only increases in value over time, 120 years at least. And all you gotta do is create it. And that's why I got an instrumental to move my jaw a lot. So it's easy for me to uh, waste money. So with instrumentals, I could, you know, speak to the world and just needed something else besides dead air and playing other people's music. Cause what it ultimately came down to was like freedom to play just anything stopped like eight years ago. Especially when you become a broadcaster, you have to watch out what you play. And I was always into like, yo, that cam, the five cam, you know, that four cam, you know, started out with just thinking over that four cam streaming on YouTube. It's quite amazing how far we've come, you know, for me after, you know, after hours DVDs, like that was played from each one of those besides the live version like planting a tree, planting a money tree. The more of those you plant, the more, like if I can keep myself entertained, and surely I can keep other people entertained. And that's why we do the random stuff. We got so many things now is we're keeping these recordings here. We got close to a year and already there's a lot of weeks worth of, you know, I can just type in their freestyle one and that will pull me up all of the folders that I checked for freestyle. So we got 30 seconds a piece. Here's like manual dates of this constant freestyle practice. This goes on, on, and on. And the thing that I'm noticing now is it's really starting to bother me. I don't know if it's in my ears, but I'm hearing everything at such a different level every 30 seconds. And then at the end of the day, I sort of get driven nuts. So I, I'm working up a solution to fix that. I've found great one. We've tried some equipment here and I do have something here that may fix it. I can't find it. Or I just need to get my ass good at video editing. Which we're learning to actually get up in there and fix those volume somehow shit let's continue to smoke when i leave here i bring this hookah and this thing right here i bring that hookah guys into that hookah right next to my bed. i also got vapor so so in colorado in the usa as long as you got a problem and weed or marijuana would make your life more valuable than what it currently is and it does you have to find the right strain that's the hard part of the whole thing is thrown into a new world don't know anything my experience has been pretty cool i know we got oils and i brought it in here with me but it's about the size of an apple pen and you put oil in it and you smoke it so sometimes when i'm around the house or any hot tub or watching you know in the theater right because we 20 of these albums it's nice but what, what else am i going to do with myself you know because i take the money from my kids you know that's a rich man's problem and today i released an album and it did hot it did so good that you know i'm pulling away from the symbols and the style is changing so that opens up a new market of listener i'm purposely staying away from percussion but we can play a little for you here but you guys won't hear oh man yo my screen my phone got super hot got iphone shit what up though all the people so i may come in meet me after every day every time i come in here and work i want to figure out how to get the sound connected so i sound good Oh man, so we got 45 minutes to go. Can I make it 45 four hours? Four hour recording. Didn't get any of our beats. You know, I think we still can. You know, we can for my whole iPad battery. Tomorrow we'll be using this song. Good job. All right, so let's continue our. We got our bowl here. I carry this over to my bed with me, so I do smoke right next to my bed. I'm learning not to because I realize how dirty it is. And here we have a, a, a air filter. I don't know if you can see it up there, up there in the corner. Let me see. Yeah, you see it right by the light. You see that little light thing attached to the ceiling. Um, that thing recycles air, so it pulls in. That thing's a carbon filter and it cleans it. And then the return blows it back in here. So that's why you never see that smoky. This moment I smoke. It's destined for that up there. So this room is has been nice to me. All right, so let's begin our day here. I was told that if you smoke weed, and I just went to a different store here, you notice how I got a piece of breadcrumb in there. You can see it. I got a piece of breadcrumb in there. Well, this thing, this, keeps my weed, like, sticky. Because this stuff was fragile and broken and could break. But this gives it, like, a spongy feeling again. So it actually keeps my weed burning longer. It was getting to a point where I was going
4-3-8-6. There are nine, ten sessions in a what we call a season. And this is how we keep track of it better. Instead of just one day being an individual recording, we group it into ten. So ten recordings, when you get up to point nine, you start over zero point nine plus point ten. It's just easier to track. Otherwise, I'll probably hit a thousand recordings real soon. So I, today, I, my plan is to show you exactly how this is done. And I'm gonna show you if you have this equipment, like I, there's probably a hundred ways to do this. This is the, the way that I found that works. You can use any um, synthesizer, I said that right, uh, sample base. So this thing is a random MIDI generator. And I was looking for one of these for years. This basically puts my keyboard out of order, man. So this thing will replace my 88 keyboard. Still haven't found a good replacement for the drums. So we will be using still Block Waves app on iOS to record my loops here. So I can bring back and pull it up if I want to. And also we're gonna be recording the two of them together. And that's what we will pull up to in our editor or in Virtual DJ to make our 28 bars, sometimes 200 bar loops. We do good with it. So we use the current tools that are out available today. You can do the same exact thing. If you can learn how to invest in beats because here's the thing it is much better than investing in stock markets it's much better than mutual funds because you're banking on yourself you're banking on a quality that you provide and you make it once you get paid on it forever 70 years past your death well you get paid now explain to me any other way to make a buck that pays you 70 years after your death so potentially if you started this when you were young you could get, you get paid a uh, 120 years for something you did 50 years ago you know at least your kids will be secure. And that, that's why this 300 album goal is so huge. Because I do see royalties coming in every day. I appreciate all of you who will be buying my stuff or listening to it. I appreciate you. I really do. Because if it wasn't for you, I'd still have a job. But it wouldn't be as fun, you know? Because I'd be doing this regardless whether I make money or not. But I found a way to make money doing something I love. And now I'm going to teach you guys to do it. So I just need two iPads. You need a good mixer. You need a good sequencer. You need a uh, something like an iConnect MIDI. Actually, you need a bunch of stuff. But that should get you going. So it's to be it. Yeah, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We've been making music that week. I'm a genius. That's what the bitches say as they have an orgasm. Can you blame me that I'm all that? I'm even nice and puffy left to say, damn chips. Damn, what? Yeah, get it. Is that me? Let me guess. We were bleeding through somehow. <clears throat> Where did that come from? Does anyone know? Oh, we recorded it from here. Ah, uh, shit. Let's see. Right here, you can see. You can change the video level. Do that. Just kind of tight. You want to learn about this ripper? I'm showing you guys, man. Future of music. I'm all into technology, and I'm all into giving my style. This is how I give it. Somewhere in this unlimited, randomized, I mean, you notice know, it just goes on and on and on. Later on, figure we're going to play it in virtual DJ to grab our six, our, you know, 128 bars, whatever it is, to make our loop. This sounds so stale. Realize that, that it, I'm not getting bored with this. And I like music that is dynamic. This iOS ripper, I recommend it. You are, I mean, it's, it's not a music app by itself. It's more of an extension to your hardware. Well, you already gotta have hardware. So if you have something that can transform MIDI over the air, like Wi-Fi, if I got a MIDI connect, it takes a Wi-Fi signal or you can hard put it in there for less delay, and it transfers that to hardcore MIDI. So I could plug in any MIDI sampler. Like we got this Elisa drum machine down here. I could have this. I only got two things. But this thing, think of it as like your piano. Think of it as a replacement for your piano. Yeah, I know this thing now controls these boxes. That's pretty tight. <clears throat> You've got all kinds of things up here. I'm a fan of the Japanese. That's the Japanese and the Persian. Depends on the style I'm in. Those are my two favorites so far. And what I've learned about this box is, is you see this, this button right here. Where it's a 64 up here. I don't know if you uh, see it. But um, that's how many things you want to play. But we're, we're only doing 16 loops. We could do longer. But down here in our record session, we only got 16. So at any given time, like I could, I mean, it's recording a new sample for me. See that? That is just been made. I, I could call it mine. I'm not recording the MIDI signal. Although I could. And replay it back in, uh, into anything else you want. But you can even get that technical. I can record your MIDI signal, play it back. Uh, to some other note. Oh damn, I messed that up. That's nice. I like the slow stuff, man. Maybe the snare can give you something else besides that high. I don't like that shit anymore. I like it. Yo, we done 20 albums of that percussion shit. I'm done with it, man. I don't like it at all. I, I want to avoid. That's pretty nice. So now we're on a different one. We did a uh, damn look at that. Let me change the drum. So I don't get bored. I keep it interesting, you know? That's nice. You just find the right combination there. Right? Leaving in random. That's what we believe in. Random. Try to change this note here. Match it. It's probably too much now, so we'll turn this down. Turn this one off though. Use it. Get out of it. So I could at any time go back and pull those up like this had here with the user. And then you can label these what they are, which I did. I deleted all the bad ones and this is what's left. So I could go up here. Try to delete the ones I already used. So I always have a fresh thing going on. I don't want to keep old shit. And that was made. So soon we will be able to get everything, you know, including drums. Damn, that's bad. Yo, that's badass, isn't it? I mean, that's just hot, yo. I don't know about you, but I think that's hot, man. There we go. It's hot. Yo. <clears throat> Can't deny that, yo. Whew. Yeah, another uh, bass. See, I was getting tired of that one, but this, this ongoing song stuff, like, you never get tired of it, man. Like, figure it out, homie. Damn, that sounds good, doesn't it? These are slight variation organ. I love organ. You notice I use a lot of that. <laughs> Damn, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Craig Wynn Studios. I mean, we got all the material. Live, bouncing like a G. Gotta learn how to be free. Welcome yeah. on this path since I was young elementary. All right, enough fooling around. No, get back to this. What do we need? We got a nice selection here. Uh, too bad I'm gonna die young. It's too bad, man. What do I know? Because I already know, man. When I go, you will be missing out because I'll be jamming up next to Tupac in heaven. Damn, look at that. We got it already. Homie, sitting here smoking a bong. Making music. That we do it. That's nice. Let's change the beat. Change the drums, though. <clears throat> Oh, that's cool. So what I just found out is once you record your loop and then you label it, then this thing will work automatically. So I could eventually delete all of the sound packs in here, man, or hide them all. And then I just got this to work with. <laughs> that is awesome. That is the newest album. Mm, amazing, yo. I got eight. Oh, bullshit. Not. Uh huh. Cool luck product. Off that tap. GTA five pack. Cast blue and Quadri. Justin. Get three pack. Three way. Doing that. And a big musical all G. Damn, bro. Ass. This shit's easy. Uh, oh no, we got twenty four percent. Means we almost done. Hey. Oh man, yo, didn't think I was gonna make so fast. This shit is amazing, man. Oh, damn, let's get some time to record. Amazing, man. I'm amazing. You're amazing. You're awesome. I'm awesome. <clears throat> damn, we got time for winning all this shit. God, man. Mm, that, that's amazing, too. 
All right, key. So let's say I like this chord. All we have to do is unhit that. That means like recycle the repeat once it gets to the end. <clears throat> we really like that loop. Stay there, man. See? And then refresh up there. Give me a new one. I'm aware the Japanese app, whatever that is, it gets music to their ears. So we got a bunch of kinds here. You know, we got Japanese B. Like one must be for one generation, B must be for second generation. I uh, don't know. And then you got like one from Persian. That one's nice because it's got some weird ass sounds. So like, that's your EF, you know, stuff there. So who's my audience? Yeah, got, got other ones in here. I like Japanese. I want music in my ears, man. So each one of these could be like a new beat, you know? All, I, all it takes for me is to do that. It's basically all I gotta do, man. And then when I get to the editor, I know that I must mean business when I got here because brain changing the channel constantly. It's amazing, man. Sorry, I can't. I'm amazing, yo. I said it without, without giving me no like, You know, I, I said it on accident. <laughs> Shit. Now, actually, people who, who built all of this program, I'm off. People are amazing. You know, iOS, Apple's amazing. I'm, I'm just a guy. He he's amazing. Yo, that's just tight. Ah, man, yo, that's tight. Tight just as well. Oh, let's just switch this up, though. Ooh, that was kind of nice. That's too high. Oh, yo, that's like music to my ear. Well, with the drums. You know what I've been doing on these latest albums? Because I haven't added a drop of compression. So this new album, CJ02, should sound way different. Sound basically the moment, except for some light compression at the end. Shit sounds good now, man. Like, actually listen to it without your ears bleeding. Damn, yo, I'm tight. Can't believe this is, we're, we're doing it, yo. That's another one down. How many did I do tonight? They do an album's worth? All I gotta do is just sit here, man. Longer I sit here, more money I make, which money I wanna make. Like, that's tight too, man. Like, that is another. We gotta add some, hold on. We gotta add some drums. Ooh, making dollar bills. A lot of bills. Man. One down. Tight, yo. Oh, man, yo. Sounds good too. <clears throat> but for the album, we're actually gonna be using this one. Notice how long it is. Longer the better. Just chill my roll. Give me a four minute song. Like that. Yo, I need a stopwatch. What I need. Stopwatch, please. Oh, yes, man. Yo, that is incredible. Uh, yo, we, we switch that around. That right app? Oh, yeah, that's Oh, we can't probably do it yet. Uh, but we pull up on the side, though. So there we go. We got. Oh, we're not connected. Best wife I've ever had. And soon you will listen to my love hotlines. I got some. Uh, I, I have something that you can follow. She's an amazing person, almost, but I truly feel like she's an amazing person, man. Glad she's in my life. Glad you are in my life. If you want to email me, cwsbod at gmail. And you, you, you are the person who I love since the day I've met you. You're like the person that I'm dedicated to. You'll fuck up with other bitches. You're my main bitch. You're my main bitch. Like, I love everything about you. I love you, half I love your fears. I love how you treat me. I love how you treat others. I want her to succeed as much as I've succeeded. Feel success, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel success. Even as drunk as I am, like, you know, I know I'm fucked up. I am. Feels good to be this fucked up, even though I know I shouldn't be this fucked up ever, because you know, the idol was talking. Sorry, I failed you, man. But I'm really a good person. People just see me as a fuck off from the direction you see. It's just an actor, homie. But I really do care about you. Peace out. I need to go lay down, man. I need to go lay down. I'm so just probably the drunkest I've ever been, man. Luckily, I'm able to control myself in the last week. I thought that when you get drunk, you just, you know, chaos begins. But I'm able to control what I say, what I speak. So you can sponsor me, send me lots of money. PayPal, JZ19775 at gmail.com. JZ19775. If you think my wife is hot, then send money. Because it was seriously go straight to her, man. I give her everything I got. She deserves everything I got. I'm going to give her this house. I'm going to give her a nice house whip. I'm going to give her everything, man. She no longer has to worry about horror in this crate to make it. I'm going to give her this way out. I love you, man. Peace out, homies. Y'all awesome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want. This ain't no forceful venture, but I appreciate your follow because it definitely makes my life a bit better. Peace out, Wakanda on Pal Talk. Make sure you go there, homies. Wakanda, W-A-K-A-N-D-A. Follow the room, man. Ask questions about me. I'm a pimp. I'm not dream tonight of what my future can be. It's not surrounded by water and how stranded, stranded I can be. You guys are awesome, man. Never let, <laughs> never let me down, man. I'll never let you down, man. Trust me. I'll never let you down, man. I love you. I love you. I love you, man. I'm so fucking smashed. Like, I've never been this smashed in my life. I'm feeling okay. I gotta make myself back to my motorized bed so my cats can jump up on me and, you know, take the life. I'm gonna go back there and watch documentaries to uh, teach me on how to be a better person. Peace out to all my lovers. Peace out, man. Support me, homie. I'll support you. I ain't greedy, motherfucker. I love you, man. Love you, girl. Love you, man. Don't let my arms scare you. Just a like bad back situation. I really want to be a lot. Come be, but life is limitating. Limitating me. Maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll continue on making a uh, CD because I need to make another BCD. We have 28 songs for our future album, so maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll come in here and use Rip for iOS. Subscribe, man. Peace out. I love you. CWSPod.com. Share that, please, with all your friends. Twitter.com slash CWSPD. I'm not a fake, homie. I'm real as shit. And I'll be here for the next 10 years. You might be able to come in here and do a live interview with me if you want to chat. CWSPOD at gmail.com. My wife will read it. And if she approves, you might be a guest. Man, like, this is seriously is the drunkest I've ever been. I don't know if I'm a big car, but who, who freaking cares, man? I don't want to swear. It's not why I really want to swear. I'm going to lay in bed, man. Like, I'm really hitting this stuff. I ended my life. I can barely understand what's happening. Man. I can barely understand. But luckily, I'm a genius at heart, and I'm like, pussy's wet, like, well, to, uh, to the two-track recorder right here as well. So we're going to do um, some effects on this one, and to do that, 
the other call me because I mean, yeah, you probably because I'm a great guy. I'm just giving you persuasion reasons. I'm gonna talk like a badass because I am a badass at everything I do. And, and the first thing I, you know, compute is like, damn, you know, I'm 23 albums just sitting back here, just waiting on the rainbow to get closer. And I go just, uh, you know, Donald Duck, uh, you know, swimming, swimming under a, uh, you know, he's having a good time under a rain shower. Uh, you know, Donald Duck, he's research research out of Boogie Tunes. And that's what I feel like when I wake up every morning. Now, 10 years when I had jack shit like you, you know, I'm telling you how to make money. And there's probably a reason why you're watching me right now because I make money when I sleep, I make money when I give a shit, I make money when I'm smoking a bowl, I make money when I ain't give a shit. I make, I make money, man. I make like four grand easy every single month and it's jacking up thanks to all of you because i know we got a lot of losers out there looking for some jazz material and so when you get it if you're looking at an idol your daddy and i can tell you how to get there through my sarcasm if you can handle this and i go home and cry in your pillow like uh and no one ever you know there's a reason you know you can sit here too until they talk like me maybe you wouldn't get too offended but since you chill on the you know mud puddle side and i chill on the cold brick side you just you just can't you can't do it you know it doesn't compute it's not compatible with, with your moral systems you are incapable of doing your job perfectly you always have to make a mistake regardless of who you are at that moment. You're only one person, night day. Damn, you know, doesn't that suck? No, for me, I come in here and I got alter egos. I come in here and there's a sign on the door that says, uh, recording in action, give it permission, you know, to act the part, be a hunter or go home. You're the one that's gonna be watching this and you're the one. So, you know, I am a badass, so I'm, I'm gonna look like a badass. And I'm gonna talk like a badass because I am a badass at everything I do. I can whoop your ass get moving around in iPad Pro. I know how to install an app better than you, buddy. I know how to get on the internet and use Google faster than you when it comes up to trivia questions on Jeopardy. I know how to do it just like you. So you can never beat me. That's my mentality, man. And you know what that got me? I got my own list. Yeah, no one gives a shit about, however, top 100 prolific. She got a name for you this time. And there's an actual list saying, uh, oh, oh, when you can finally be done saying, I don't know, what? I don't know how I'm going to wipe my ass today. So side to side, back and forth, forth and back, put my finger all the way up there. And what is it? What are you going to do today? What should we believe? When that becomes your life, when you're constantly questioning, get in the reviews of how many steps you should take to the donut shop. You know, when you're asking everyone else what kind of donut you should buy, when you're asking everyone else, oh, I just don't know, man. I don't know how to have sex. I don't know how to work the remote control to the TV. Oh, man, you don't even know how to do that. Potato chip fat bitch is way smarter than you. So I guess if you die with a full uh, burnet, big on you and you pass it at 90, you gotta be stupid. And the, I, I already got, you know, it's like I already passed that test in life. So I ain't gotta wake up worrying about me trying to lose the color of my hair. Cause it just, it happens, man. Like if you swing your dick against each other, strangers can be a better friend than the people you work with. But I mean, you gotta put it in mutual funds. Well, I'm telling you, get your ass together and work for instrumentals. Cause, cause that's a better uh, ROI using smart terms. Um, return on investment for all the retards out there. ROI using big ass words, big ass butt. I mean, that extra space on the bus. I wonder if that's suspension problems. And I guess that explains why you can't Damn, yo. Random, you know, all on random. Notice how, how I let Jesus take the wheel. This is what believing in, you know, I'm at the casino right now. I'm pulling sevens, man. I'm throwing sevens. I'm winning eights. Damn, seven for lucky, eight for monies. Whew. Damn, yo. All the way through, man. Like my song, all the way through. Cool, you made a beat in under 10 minutes. I made a song, man. Chorus and all. My dick is real big. So better watch out. Oh, man, yo, another one. Another one. My wife said I can't come out of here until I got 20. So I'm like, okay, baby, I'll give you what you want. I will be. <clears throat> man, you guys hear that? You guys hear all that buzzing in the background? Oh. I would never notice it unless I gave myself a break. We'll hear myself think for a moment. You hear that low hum. You guys have in your side my 4K videos. Nah. And if you want the real gun, if you want the real gun, quick, you believe me now? I'm asking you a question. You believe me now before we get going. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Do you think I can't do it? you think I got nothing to offer to your children? <clears throat> you know? Then go back to preschool. I'm good for you. So let's continue on. We're making a beat CD for myself. And it starts way before here. But this is one of the process now. I'm just having fun. I already recorded these loops, except for the drums. Everything else, yeah, you know, good job, self. Alright, so we'll start there. Or without the medicines. You know, when I asked that question last time, they said without. Without my drugs? I'd say 10 minutes. No way could I do it. And, I mean, it's from point A to point B. It's like freestyle. Some days I'm not learning from that experience. Like, that's kind of emotional torture. It's probably what I could, you know, sue for emotional distress if that's some real battery. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, LGCD439.2, Blocks Wave. We make more music to my iPad battery dies. Got 83%. Rename this shit one more time. 273, music production. I do this live. Live broadcast, man. So we're streaming the Periscope, Twitch, Mixer, Picardo, BK, YouTube, Smashcast. Go live on YouTube for the 4K stream. You can find it at CWSPOD, 4K from a regular YouTube search. Of course, we're always streaming. Twitch.tv. Like, I don't lose. I haven't lost a penny in these investments. I have been gaining my money back. Have you ever lost money in your life? I haven't. Never. I, and really, in this line of work, where all I do is sit here and smoke weed and do music of what you always want to do, but you're too bitch and too chicken to do it because you're afraid of what other people might say about your big-ass forehead if you ever speak like this because you know you would mistake. You know you just can't be as good as me. You know that if you try to even live on my level, you will go to hell because you will look so good. You need, you need room 
for others to talk. Like I got CDs and you know, yeah, they can talk over my music. They ain't even need to know who I am. I'm providing a service and a product. What have you provided besides a bill for the taxpayers as you sit in jail? Talking to your mama on the payphone saying, I didn't do it. That's your life, man. That's your future. I didn't do it. Yeah, of course you did. And you know what? You are innocent until you're proven guilty. So of course you did it until you're proven innocent. So you gotta prove yourself innocent until then you're guilty as shit. That's what that means. You gotta, you gotta provide your innocence. And, uh, you know, I, I think living in 4K is the best place to live because you, you can recognize my face, right? And we got 24 hour feeds going on. Yeah, y'all can hate technology all you want, but I feel safe on Earth. Y'all waiting for the Earth to explode. Like, I got better things to do with my time than wait for the wind to change. I ain't waiting. It'll come when it comes, right? Until then, I'm gonna keep on swinging my dick and making the pussy hurt. So that's why I'm a boss, because I can actually say this shit and go to bed smiling. Y'all afraid, man. And y'all hate me because I make better investments. Y'all hate me because I got a beautiful wife. Y'all hate me, man, because I got a smoking room dedicated to this. I can't help it how incredible I am. It's not my fault you haven't been taught the right way to talk about yourself. It's not my problem that you upgraded the car, uh, uh, Ed, like it needed a new battery. How is that my problem? You know, a sale is a sale. You, you bought the car with all of these, you know, you upgraded the battery and the voltage system. It was working fine. I, so that's not our bill. That's poor choices on your end when, when we transferred it over to you from your non-paying ass. <clears throat> you know, you decided to upgrade tires with new tires. Tires were cool on it. You see those rims? Hell yeah, man. Don't come up and complain about how you had to upgrade the battery and upgrade your life. It was working just fine once you jumped it and you bought it like that. So I don't understand why people need to complain and bring their shit-ass business into my perfect-ass life. Why are you trying to corrupt me to be like a politician or a lawyer? So I'm your self-help homie. Otherwise, you're talking down yourself. You, you're not directing your anger at, right? You're living in your own little world. Like today, we were watching the latest episode of Wife Swap, right? And coming from my wife's mouth, it, it was this episode of this one dude who's like a bodybuilder and he got this other nice family where the woman's in charge. So it's a woman against a man who doesn't clean, who doesn't cook, who doesn't, you know, wash his ball sack. He needs his wifey to wash his dirty streaks out, out of his, you know, muscly butthole after he probably rapes his wife and chokes her out, you know? He's got, my, my wife said he's got devil horns in his forehead and he thinks he's number one in the world, man. He's looking like a clown, looking like just, you know, two plus two doesn't mean you know what's better for people who are suffering with nothing in Fukushima. Yeah, I bet your Christian ass don't even give a fuck, fuck uh, with your caring ass. But that's just, that's just what it is, man. We got a bunch of brainwashed people who think they're the best in everything and it's sickening. So, I mean, if Jesus can come back and take all, take them away, because that's like some drama bullshit. That's like stuck in your head shit and, and you're dragging your wife and your kids down this, this, you know, I need six sandwiches. I ain't got no time. You know, knock before you come out of your room. That's some, that's some bullshit, man. And, and then you got men behind him going, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, that's how it is. And then you look at these women who got to live with shit like that. She was obviously happier with the other family from Wife Swap than her own. Do you see the house? Well, I guess if, if he's all that and a bag of chips, surely he, he should have a house that equals have. Surely his house should be a better house than, than what equals are. <clears throat> but in his household, he's like a 90 and she's like a three. And he will take the other seven points just because he's got balls in his pants. So that, that's some sad shit. I don't stand up for that. You know, I'm, I'm not that kind of dude. I'm just a guy that brags about my dick. I'm just a guy who knows how to, how to do stuff. And outside of my stuff, you know, I'm just a piece of shit. And get, yo, I'm a piece of shit. And it shows. But in here, yo, I rock the shit. And it shows. Yeah. But I don't bring my chaos in my dream world out into their heads. I gotta leave my work at work. And the guy needs to leave his, you know, gym suit. I never seen him out of a gym suit, dude. The guy's working 24-7. He's probably, you know, lifting his wife up and off of, of his, you know, small ass ball sack. Because that dude cannot have a giant package. I'm sure if I was rewind and look at his hands somehow, they'd be like real small. It wouldn't be big, you know? So like, why does he feel like he's so fucking special, man? I mean, he's a dickhead and even his wife believes it. And that's some shit. That's it. I ignorance right there. And that's someone who I never want to become. Like a marriage is a 50-50 or a 100-100. It's the way how I look at it. You know, like a relationship is, um, not as a job anymore. Because I used to be like, yo, marriage is a job. It is kind of a job the first few years. But after that, uh, it's, it's more of a, um, we do our thing during the day and at night we come together watch some tv shows and then we go to our own bedroom to do our own thing so when we wake up and when we're at work we actually miss each other rather than depend on each other we miss each other first then we depend on each other we don't take each other for granted y'all fuckers who sleep in the same bed are missing a huge part of life i think you are robbing yourself probably like 40 percent um but because like marriage life is cool but like you're you go through life together that doesn't mean you got to be making butter together that doesn't mean that one person's got to be doing something for the other person no you just basically live together and dedicate yourself to each other that's all it is man and you're, you're gonna look at life in its longest because you're not driving each other crazy you got your own space to go to you know if, if you're fucking in the same bed you're sleeping in then yeah i, I can see some tension definitely and you know people are gonna call me horseshit look i think your life is horseshit because i lived both how about you I think you should try it. Move your bed out and see how it feels. If, if it feels, you know, sad and you feel guilty, then you've been brainwashed, man. 
you've been brainwashed to think like that. Once you get over yourself and onto the reward system, because if you can figure that plan out of your living situation, then that will grow you together. Definitely. That's what I'm promoting. Just continue. If you don't like it, it's just my opinion. We ain't all gotta be communism and live the same way, do we? I'm just gonna go room for you. I'm hot. I'm gonna go back. Uh, lay in bed. Winning the lottery and life changes and just trying to deal with life changes. So my, I think the biggest alter ego that is personal would be, it's one of the new ones, Wadri. He's like that. Who, uh, yeah, just chilling, you know, that guy. And it, if anyone knows me, then they know that in 2005, uh, I talked a lot about this near-death experience. And one of the words that I kept on repeating in the stories, you know, because I repeat this same story and never repeat anything else because it's legal. I'm not supposed to tell the same thing twice. You know, it just sounds like the song starts to sound desperate. If I just, you know, but these later ones, like I've been really trying to put myself in the other person's shoes. It's not really about what I want. Especially those ultra dirty ones that sound like Sir Mix a lot. I know when I was younger, I, I did that because there was nothing around that sounded like this. There wasn't 15 artists talking and using words actual dick, using words like actual pussy. And yeah, that offends a lot of people, but if it offends you, this song wasn't made for you. Me as a creator, I've dealt with burnout. I understand burnout and burnout is only if you find no escape. I don't have no rider's block. I don't never suffer. You know, all we gotta do is try and it just works. I'm not sure how I understand it, but people who don't know me, really don't care about my personal life. They just want to hear a song that is perverted as shit, like I did when I was young. And, you know, I just thought it was automatically cool because it was the only song that I heard use that type of language. And but that's the magic about believing. I do much better off when people don't know me because the people who do know me get real confused. We at Hollywood, you know? Think about it like this. I write audiobooks and I implemented video. I'm making rough drafts because I broke my hand years ago that took me away from poetry. I got books that I don't read. I almost don't care to read because I've changed so much and the whole writing style has gotten above and beyond. I used to hate my life now. It's not too bad, you know, as long as we keep on working for the goal, the uh, I'm a possible goal of 300 albums. It's big enough that it will always keep me away from the demons. It'll always keep me away from sabotage. And the more time I let my mind wander, it's usually bad news for everyone. That's just for my experience. So I decided after I finished the 200 practice CDs, you know, just tryouts basically, not many rules and working on vocal style, listening, made changes. Like, yeah, I like that. We need to raise our voice here. And it was, I used to take notes. Not really about my vocals, but like, preparations like eat fruit the whole day before you do it don't watch anything disturbing like cnn tv that could corrupt your short-term memory so i didn't watch anything for you know a few days two days and then i turned on pandora and only listened to my inspirations i should do that again but i don't because really it's uh, illegal and i don't really be jamming out like that alone i really don't i mean if it's not myself unless i'm having sex with my wife or listening to sex music on pandora but even my old playlist on pandora i don't go there anymore so i stopped following who i thought was cool When I first heard this fast rapping, it became a challenge because as long as every word rhymed, I mean, in my head at the time, that was the point of practice. And like here, we got 40 minutes left. When we started giving ourselves rules, like when I didn't give myself this minimum four hours of recording and then what are we gonna do? And this was before music and everything. So it's like sitting on the couch, like thinking of what to do next it's before I had any of this stuff. The only thing I had was this that I brought with me, Yamaha Q500. So I had passion there, I didn't give it up, but I wasn't living. It was just, you know, there as a backup sitting in the closet and I never put it in effect uh, when I could have. So music was, I guess, one of the options at that time and then I thought, you know, maybe I could do this and we went for it. So I decided, it's like, is this who I am now? And everyone thinks it's a hobby. People still calling me for computer repair. People still calling me to fix their computer over the phone. And I alienated a huge community. If anyone has reasons to be pissed off at me, it's because I just, uh, and after the surgeries, I forgot everything of where I came from because this back pain and surgery was like a, a baby. I had to take care of it because it was inside of me and there was no one here for, mm, I'd say for sure the first four years. And you know, it got hard to even eat, so I'd eat high calorie food. I got some videos here of me making french fries and that's probably okay to eat if that's all you eat one time a day because your body hurts too much, you know, almost like my foot. Like it was a job a few days ago to go to the bathroom. And that took a lot of work. I'm like, damn, you know, I thought my back was difficult. You know, I can't sit right because it feels like, you know, I injure myself, but it's because I'm not taking my vitamins. Children. Always take your vitamins, drink your water. And chances of you having spine issues will be lower because you won't dry out your body and then it'll be like bone to bone and you, you just gotta take care of it because it's all you got where are you going to live when your body poops out so i mean life is what you make of it and so i started watching a bunch of documentaries before that we were watching cnn fox you know before i was really like um what am i gonna do with myself now and then that, you know at that time you know, i was buying more equipment but i didn't have as near as much as i have now but much of it is dated and i don't use it it makes noise so i sold much of the good stuff because i like to stay minimal you know like when all you are reminded of pain and like i still want to do stuff don't get me wrong like i've learned to work with pain just because i feel pain doesn't mean i want to go out just because i'm in pain doesn't mean i don't want to go out on a date with you because this is my reality and i do want to go out on a date with you every single day of the week and the perception it's like yeah it's hard to live here uh, but i'm looking for better times and even when they start taking out this hardware so i delayed my appointment uh, because i injured myself so we're gonna start the process of having one of my hardware taken out which is causing this liver feeling I narrowed it down at first i didn't know what i was working with but when all you got is yourself and damn did i do all this to myself did i do all this to everyone else did i really do that to my ex-wife did, did i really you know, throw everything away and you, know, you just forget because you're in so much pain every day that you're just trying to write, you're looking for the next day. So you forget when you're running for the juicy ice cream truck, you forget all your problems at the moment. 
When you're thinking about going to the liquor store to pick up the bottle, all your problems disappear because you find hope, you find escape, you find something in that that is more enjoyable than whatever you're dealing with at the moment. And that's the kind of mindset that I've had for many, many years. And you know, I am happy. I may not show it on the outside, but it's a uh, mind over matter. There's many reasons why my facial doesn't match up with my emotions. Because when I was young, they put me on Prolix and the Canoids. It was an injectable drug. I chose it, and it was for uh, schizophrenia that I never believed I had. However, I understand why they gave me that diagnosis when I saw the doctor because I was rude. I was out of character. I saw him for maybe 30 to 20 minutes, and you know, it's probably one of the moments where I, I should have just played the part. That you know, when I get it's you know, there's X-rays. Like, yeah, you know, this, and everything checks out. So you gotta be put on like this kind of live stuff to uh, to function. Hell yeah, because it's it makes you depressed. Like when, you, when all you feel is your broken arm pain, when all you feel is your stubbed toe pain, when all you feel is you can do it but you can't because of like something physical, something is physically wrong here, and you know, yeah, yeah, right, whatever. These X-rays look beautiful. Where ain't nothing wrong here, and it's like yo, this ain't going nowhere. And it's like just because you can't see it and shit doesn't mean it's there. I mean, if you look. For, 5, 15 seconds, you see what kind of torture this guy goes through. And if you look at long enough, you'll notice behaviors that you've been trained to see. We live in a fast-paced world, man. I was rooting for hope uh, that this pain would get better, but I finally determined it's got to be the hardware. One month after my second uh, surgical hardware, so I also have the first one, but they're going to take out the second one, the cloth stabilizer, because there was no bone. In the first one, and, you know, I was wiggling back and forth, basically. So it was causing more problems for my own dumbass, take meloxicam, do it uh, from some major spine operation. Total no-no. I didn't know at the time, but when I finally knew, I didn't point the finger, I just accepted that's the way it is, that's the way it was. Oops. It was purely an accident, and because I didn't follow the directions. So nobody told me I wasn't supposed to be on this, but I was. My body inflames a lot, and lots of can don't even work now for my inflammation. But my overimmune system is flooding my entire body with, they call them black T-cells. And, oh, but let me get back to the that story about mental health that I was part of until 28. So I took this injection every two weeks, because I thought it was easier. I'm like, damn, I gotta be on these anyway. Do they have anything? Or I don't gotta shove pills in my mouth every day. Because after a while, you know, that stuff tastes gross. I just didn't like it. People already condemn me for being trained crazy. People even you know what it was, but the name itself is scary enough to treat you different. Even if you didn't have it, right? Oh, I was probably in, hated where I was at the moment, so I was saying anything. Who knows what I really said, but what I said shocked the doctor and whether the doctor had, had you know, had to come in for an emergency visit. He, he probably, you know, brought in by police. He probably wasn't going to write a good report. And, and, so, you know, so anyway, that medicine, um, Prolixin, P-R-O-L-X-I-N, the can wait, is an injectable uh, isotropic medication that turned things off. So well, maybe I wasn't feeling things very well, but they were turned off for at least seven years. And if you think how a brain works, how muscles work, if you don't use them, you'll lose them. And I think that's a real possibility here where your DNA starts to change and your body becomes normal. Just like earlier tonight, we made a song about you can push yourself in a mode of starvation and be in denial. I starved myself for a while and got myself sick looking. It was disgusting to see my cheekbones in 150. I used to say 150 was my lowest weight and now I'm about 200. Cause I remember when I got to 150, like I was malnourished, couldn't think straight and and then have a like close to death, near death, you know, have, have a trip and not be believable and you know, run it over and talk about it. Same thing, almost word for word every time. Can't do that about anything else. It's like, oh, there's something there. Even if I want it tonight, I gotta see it every damn day. And I don't know what it is. It was my head dreaming and it was dreaming so hard that, you know, I got pushed into the realm. You know, I don't know, but I woke up different, whether they can find something or not. So I had body abuse and take very good care of myself. Um, and I was just reckless, very reckless, all before 2005. And then it all stopped. It all changed in that moment. Every, I didn't know it at the time, but I was on a journey. But when I like bring my ankle and hurt my rib, I don't look at it like, damn you, I accept it already happened. And if I go to bed tonight and um, sprain my other ankle somehow, I got no one else to blame but myself. And since I'm all about figuring out a solution for my brain, things like interdisciplinary, it's probably the number one word that jumps out. It's really been the focus. So my brain is a thought pattern, interdisciplinary. And it can be fascinating. And then if you believe essays and descriptions that describe the words so well, you might believe it. And that's why we people got emotions. When we act a certain way, there's no way to prove it. You know, like people with bipolar. Bipolar is a description and it got blacklisted. It's not, I don't want to annoy you. you gotta keep an eye on everything. Cause very easily stuff can go wrong and your notifications. So I gotta make sure everything's working. You know, I gotta be strict about myself. Cause otherwise if I make a mistake, it hurts me. And even a stupid mistake, you know, like a shaky internet connection, but then it's just posting a bunch of videos on the Twitter accounts says, hey, look who's live, look who's live, you know, look who's live, look who's live, look who's live, and you know, I ain't know it for eight freaking hours. And so, you know, every every eight seconds, you're being reminded, you're like, hey, look who's live, look who's live, look who's live, and then I gotta go back there. This actually happened to me once, and I'm, I'm lucky I only lost two subscribers. But to a certain point, you do have to know what you're doing. I'm just glad I can do with what I got, I'm glad I can do the albums I already got, even though I made, I didn't count them, but there's over 10 costly mistakes there. That is costing me money. It's costing my wife money every day. I mean, so this is all I think about, and her. I mean, she's, she's kind of all I think about. And then this, you know, music became proxy of that. So I got the um, desire to work for proxy. Because without her, probably wouldn't do all this, right? That's what a proxy is. Proxy is um making a cake. You got a whole cake, and then you give it to the next. You hand your cake off, and the cake is broken up, and now the cake has something else in it. It could be chocolate chips, healthy chocolate chips. But they're still brownies from the same source, still delicious, still got the same information. Mmm, that was so good, regardless if the chocolate chips were in there or not. So when you get the end result of your brownies, you don't know. That's kind of what a proxy is. So um, if all I think about is my wife, and she's the reason why I study so hard on my iPad and it annoys her, you know? At first she was like, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? You know, at first she was like, you're cheating on me, right? And at first I guess it was hard for me to be on my iPad. It's just like, it's, at first it was hard to see her on your phone all the time, but we truly are trapped in our own worlds. And we come back uh, to each other. We got different worlds. We both bring great things to the marriage. And I like being different, and I believe she knows that. And we work well 
despite how different we are, you know? And, uh, like, for a while she thought I hated religion. And you could easily get that impression, because just like, you know, pussy dick, how many people really say stuff like that? Whether if it's true or not, or whether I believe it, the fact that I even said stuff that vulgar about religion can put a permanent curse on your forehead very easy, whether you mean it or not. I mean, it's, I directed that at myself. Um, but then, you know, I start telling stories about the second chance, I believe she knows that, and we work well, despite how different we are, you know? And, uh, like, for a while she thought I hated religion, and because just like, you know, pussy dick, how many people really say stuff like that? Whether if it's true or not, a permanent curse on your forehead very easy, whether you mean it or not. I mean, it's, I directed that at myself. Um, but then, you know, I start telling stories about the second